Hey, this is a video response to Sam. We were talking about uh, driver cooling and what makes a musical sub or an SPL sub or uh, a subwoofer that you demo on continuously with high power for a long period of time. And we were also talking about SPL subs, which typically don't have a lot of cooling. So what I have here is a RE Audio MT motor. Uh, the basket's been changed. This has been uh, blown up a couple of times. The original basket uh, had been cracked. and But it basically had the same amount of... There's little windows here in the basket for cooling. And that's it. The pole is completely solid. There's no ventilation around the top plate. <clears throat> In the back plate, it's completely solid. There's no pole, pole cooling or anything like that. So this subwoofer would rely on just these itty bitty vents in the basket here to cool itself. Oh, thing's heavy, but and it ends up being a really heavy motor because the pole isn't drilled out. There's no extra drilling in this thing. Um, <clears throat> so this would be your SPL subwoofer. And then I have a JBL GTI motor and basket here to show as a demonstration. This was... Uh, an efficient musical subwoofer. So this sub used a really light coil, um, didn't have a ton of power handling, but it did a lot with what it did have for a coil and whatnot. And a lot of that is because of the amount of cooling. It has the windows in the basket here. It has a pole vent. And then it's going to be really hard to tell, but right here in the bottom of this plate are little windows that where the coil sits in there, it actually moves air down past the coil and out these vents. And this basket acts like a heat sink all on its own, being that it's all aluminum. You know, all these cooling fins on it. These weren't just for looks. These were actually for cooling. Uh, but the voice coil that they used in this was very light. Uh, the cone, also very light. Paper cone. But. So then, get on to like, subwoofers that we see today for music something like this you can see they have the windows in the basket um, they have the pole vent and they also have a coil venting system it's not quite as extravagant as what you see in the JBL but it does work and I actually showed this in my video when I was breaking it in free air I took a little piece of paper it was hard to show that what these vents were doing, but they were actually moving a decent amount of air too. And then, so there's a lot more to just the ability to move air to cool subwoofer. You also have the size of coil, two inch, two and a half inch, three inch. Here's another two. So this one, you can actually see it has a lot of layers. This is an eight layer coil and it's copper. It's very heavy. This is a four layer flat long coil. It's got aluminum wire and it's extremely light. These are also flat long aluminum. And then I have some round wire copper here. 
Uh, this is actually a round wire aluminum coil. It's very light. So these two coils, this one, this one weighs about double what this coil does. Um, if you've ever seen aluminum and copper deal with heat completely different. So copper will heat up and expend or er, aluminum will heat up and expend its heat really fast. So that's what you'd see in an SPL sub. Copper will take a long time to heat up and it won't expel it as fast as aluminum will. So that's typically what you'd find in like a musical sub made to play long duration. Here's a SPL four inch coil. And as you can see, these all have different heights on the windings also. And this does make a difference. Some two inch coils will actually cool better than a three inch coil. Um, where's the other one I had? Good example. I don't know what I did with it. Anyways, it has a very short wind height. It's a coil that was out of a Rockford HX2, and its wind height is just like an inch. It's a three inch coil, but some two or two and a half inch coils like this actually has just as much surface cooling area as the HX2 does. And this is a two and a half inch coil. So there's that to consider also. And as you can see, the big four inch coil has a lot more wind height. There are three inch coils that have even more. A lot more. This isn't a regular winding coil. This would be out of a um, TC Sounds LMS. So another factor into it all is uh, SPL sub typically has a very stiff suspension and a musical sub will tend to have a softer suspension so let's see here if I can show this this you can see the mesh is really thick stranded layers there's another one that's you know really thick these are pretty stiff spiders. Something like this. It's finer strands and it's really soft. So, if the coil can move easier, it can cool itself better. If it can't move, it can't move air and it can't cool itself. So when you have a RE Audio MT with six super stiff spiders packed into it that thing ain't moving like it's not gonna move hardly at all like if you took a whole sandwich of spiders you ain't getting no flex out of that you know these are pretty stiff but soft spider hmm, bend that like nothing So that all plays a huge role in what the sub can handle and whether it's made for a burp, you know, 30 seconds, or are you going to play a whole song with it at rated power? And all these parts play a huge role in that. And they have to be balanced in order to achieve what you're after. So that's just kind of a breakdown. Yeah, there's... There's exceptions to all of these rules with, you know, different drivers and whatnot, but, um, yeah. Another cool thing I'll show you real quick. 
Pioneer did this in the past. This is actually machined aluminum. And these are machined aluminum. And this actually draws heat out the front of the coil. Power Acoustics has something like this, but it's not actually a part of the former. It's a separate piece. And I've even seen some that aren't aluminum, they're plastic. Like, you can hear that's aluminum. And this is directly connected to the voice coil former. So as the heat comes up the former, it's able to escape out the front. And yeah, there's all kinds of cool things like that, but this is something you don't really see that often. This is something that like, Pioneer did this in the 90s, and you haven't seen many companies do it since or before then, even. Like, I don't know of any that did it before, so. Anyways, thanks for watching, and hope you guys learned something. Um, just kind of giving an idea of the different parts of a sub and how it all works.